Uh, you know, very fortunate to uh, come away with a win on the road this past week. I thought uh, our, our team it play, played extremely hard in all three phases. You know, we wanted to be a, a physical football team. We thought that was going to be one of the keys of the game. And we, and we, after watching the film, we felt like we were in all three phases. Uh, we had, you know, some improvement in all three phases. Uh, we, we did not run the ball effectively, you know, but uh, Austin Davis and uh, the, uh, the wide receivers did a very nice job. Protection was very good. And uh, we got it done in that area, uh, special teams. You know, made a game-changing play, and that was one of our keys to victory going into the game, that that was going to have to happen. And I thought our defense stepped up when they had to. But we can throw the ball around to a lot of different people. I don't think, uh, you know, that they can zero in on one guy. So I feel like we can, you know, we can spread the ball around, and uh, Austin has a, you know, has a good feel for everybody. Virginia's pretty good up front. I mean, they were pretty good up front. We knew they were, and uh, we knew that was going to be tough. Uh, you know, we thought we would be able to get some things on the perimeter and then be able to, you know, get them running east and west and then soften them up a little bit. And, and uh, but we never got anything going on the perimeter. So, you know, that uh, kind of backfired on us. But, uh, you know, I, I still think that we have an opportunity to be a good running football team still early in the season. You know, it's something that we're going to, you know, continue to emphasize. And, and uh, it's still, you know, a big part of our game plan. We won't go into a game just saying we're going to throw the football. So. You know, we've always said we're going to, you know, we'll take what the defense has given us. And, and obviously we were able to throw the ball, and it, which puts a little bit more burden on his shoulders and, uh, and obviously the receivers. And, and, you know, Austin, if you're going to put it on somebody's shoulders, you know, you, you might as well put it on his. He's got the most reps out of everybody, on, you know, on the team out there. And he's comfortable with what he's doing. And, and uh, you know, like I said, I thought the protection uh, held up pretty well. And uh, because of that, he was able to find the guys he needed to find. Uh, you know, in the playbook, if you look under third and 23, that's the only play we have in there. So, no, uh, you know, it, it's uh, it, it's just a backside screen. We we sprint out to the front side to uh, give the perception that we're sprinting out, you know, and throwing the football to the field. And, and uh, you just kind of snuck Tracy back in there on the backside and put the ball on him and then, uh, you know, pulled a tackle and a guard out in front of him. And both those guys got their blocks. The receiver got his block and, and uh, Tracy did the rest. So. You know, I mean, uh, you know, it worked out. It's a good play when it works. He didn't say, I mean, and I didn't question him uh, because, I mean, you know, like I said, when you open the playbook for third and 23, there's very few calls in there, you know, and, and it's like crickets on the uh, headset at that time. Not many people are wanting to throw out a play because, uh, you know, uh, the, the chances of it being successful aren't very good, you know. So, no, Blake immediately called it, you know, and, uh, I mean, what are you going to say? I mean, no, nah, I don't think that'll be good. You know, what are you going to say is going to be good in third and 23? He's from uh, Colleen. He's a uh, military home. Uh, his dad was stationed there, and he was uh, playing. He played quarterback at Harker Heights. Uh, and then uh, he went to uh, Trinity Valley, where he also played, uh, you know, he played quarterback for one year. And then we recruited him out there, and he was a, a three for three. So. Oh, he, yeah, his athleticism, you could tell. I mean, he wasn't back, he wasn't playing quarterback to throw the ball, I assure you. Uh, but uh, he can throw it. I mean, but that's not, you know, what he was going to be. I mean, he, he can, you know, if you watch Ryan, Ryan has a unique knack of, of how to, you don't have to tell him how to run a route to get open. I mean, he just has a good feel for how to get open. Some guys do, some guys don't, and Ryan does. It's, he's very comfortable running routes and, and, uh, dropping shoulders and, and, and dropping his weight and being able to get in and out of cuts and, and, and hooking up on backers and around backers and all those things. Uh, and then he's got great hands. I mean, you know, you, you see some of the, the – the touchdown catch, you know, was probably a throwaway ball that, uh, that AD was throwing. And the, the linebacker stopped because he thought it was incomplete, you know. But uh, Ryan's made those catches in practice all the time, I mean, that are outside of his frame. You know, with his, his body weight and everything, his momentum going one way, and he can catch the ball going back the other way. Uh, the the uh, you know the deep pass over the middle that was uh, negated by the uh, hands of the face mask call. I mean, that's a great catch. That's a hard catch. And you know, that's a hard catch like that. And uh, I mean, he made it look easy. Ryan can run now. I mean, he's uh, you know it's something for us that we don't really think a lot about because we see him do it all the time. You know, and. Uh, uh, you know, most of the time he's working over the middle. You know, he, he's working around linebackers and, and through safeties and everything in the middle. That's where he makes most of his catches. Very seldom do you get to see him down the field. 
you know, but uh, the other day you got to. And uh, uh, he can take a, sh a short ball and go. They had uh, they had been in that they had been in that uh, actual formation one time that we had seen from the previous year, uh, you know, and actually our guys uh, we actually didn't line up the way we wanted to against it. And because of, I'm sure it was a check for them. And because we only had three guys out there, they threw it out there. You know, now our guys just went and made the play. But, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's a, I mean, I'm sure it's based on numbers, whether, you know, because they were balanced up and you didn't, we had more over here than we had over there. And so they just took it and threw it out there, you know. So, no, nah, we weren't uh, anticipating it be honest with you, but our guys made a play. Ryan can make that catch with a guy sticking his helmet through him, too. I mean, that's the thing about Ryan. He, he has great concentration on the ball. I mean, he's not a, you know, some guys don't like going in there and making a the catch. They know what's fixing to happen, and they can't overcome that mentally. Ryan, he doesn't even think about it. I mean, he knows he's going to get hit. He doesn't worry about it. You know, he just goes and make the play. When the ball's in the air, it's his ball. That's the way he looks at it. And, uh, you know, the, the ones that, that make a lot of plays, those are the ones they, that they think like that. They, they don't, uh, they're not worried about getting hit. He, he knows there's a lot of balls being thrown in that area, and he wanted to be in there. Yeah, I don't know if we stopped the run, but, but uh, you know, we did enough in the running game where they had to throw the football. And then, you know, I was proud. Our defensive front, I mean, they got pressure on the guy. I mean, I think we hit the quarterback 13 times in that game, and not just some taps. Now, we hit him. I mean, we hit him. And, uh, you know, so I, I was proud of them. Marquise Wheaton played the best game he's played for us. Jacorius Cotton played the best game he's played for us. You know, and, and when KP went down at that point, he had to jump over and play the free safety, which he hadn't played, and, and uh, he really did a nice job.